Well, the, you're living on frequencies. Now, when you think of something, what you've done is you've flipped your brain onto a higher frequency. The very fact you can see it is all the proof you need to know you could get it. What you have to do is raise your love, love consciousness to that frequency. And then you will attract whatever's on that frequency, all the good you need to manifest the idea. Carnegie said that way back in 1908 to Hill, when, when Carnegie commissioned him to write this book. He said, any idea that's held in the mind, that's emphasized, that's either feared or revered, so it could be better, good, that's either feared or revered, will begin at once to clothe itself in the most convenient and appropriate form available. It starts to move into form. See, when people quit, like three feet from gold, mm -hmm. they weren't in love with that idea. They were going after the money. It wasn't the idea that motivated them, it was the money that motivated them. And that's why they quit. See, when you're going after what you want, and that's one of the big problems with people when they set goals, they set a goal to do what they think they can do. Well, there's no inspiration in that. It's gotta be what you want to do. See, wants come from the essence of who we are. We're spiritual beings and we are a soul. We don't have a soul, we are a soul. And the soul is forever seeking its awareness of its oneness with that which is, which I call God. Well, spirit's always for expansion and fuller expression. It's never for disintegration. So there's a basic law of the universe. If you're not growing, you're dying. It's created to disintegrate. Nothing stays where it is. We live in an ocean of motion. Entropy. So it's the spirit within. Our spiritual DNA is perfect. There's perfection within every one of us. Well, it's that perfection seeking expression through us. It causes us to want. If you run, you want to run faster. If you jump, you want to jump higher. If you're selling, you want to sell more. Doesn't matter what you're doing, you want to do it better. When people understand where wants come from, that's when their life starts to change, I think. That's why 90% of them set a target and they quit. They set a target and quit. When you're going after your heart's desire, you don't quit. We should sit down and don't give any thought to where the money's gonna come from, where the help's gonna come from. It's what do you really want? 